Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. You follow my channel, you know I love my AR-15s. You know, you also know that I love crazy, stupid deals. Now, if you're not familiar with that, I'll talk about that later, but I love to find the best bang for your buck. And I kept seeing <laughs> this, okay? American Tactical Alpha Max all polymer. I mean, obviously not the barrel and there's some metal in here. But the thing was, is I kept sending this out on my crazy stupid deals because I kept seeing this for 318. Sometimes I think I'd have to go back even 299. Yeah. An AR-15 for a little over $300 or crazy stupid deal 299. So of course, yeah, so many questions, so many questions. What can we do with this? Can we reach up on the hill? What kind of accuracy? How reliable is it? Yeah, the, the questions are endless. So anyway, this review, hopefully, we're going to get them all answered. Hit. I'm Drew Case. Welcome back to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you honest reviews, no podium, no pulpit, and no politics. Anyway, yeah, I'm just, I am dying to start sending some lead downrange with this. Um, we absolutely have to do an out of the box so you can see in an up close. We're going to examine the internal parts and the specs and tech. Take a look at all that. Okay, I do have to do an out of the box on this just because, you know, what What are we getting for $318? So they've got their own mag, a lock, and an instruction book, and that's pretty much it. Let's, uh, yeah, let's just open it up and get to shit. Okay, guys, I got to say, curiosity is just killing me. Everything on this is polymer. Our buffer tube is polymer. Um, the trigger is polymer. The upper receiver is polymer. Now, I'm the foregrip is polymer. It is light. Um, you know, I, honestly, it is comfortable in the hands. Here, let's open it okay, up. I am going to need something to push the pin out here, though, because I can't, it, it won't, won't get it with my thumb. Okay, so we do have quick detach here, you know, it's both sides. We've got them um, as far as sling, the clip here, and then we've got a quick detach built in here as well. Can't get that pin out, you're gonna need something. So you, you could just use a cartridge and it doesn't make a click and it doesn't, there we go. So it sticks, you know, I mean, that's a shocker. Um, let's get the other pin out here. So, first thing is we do have some metal steel in here for the pins. Now, one thing this is interesting is obviously the BCG is going to be metal and it pulls out, but it all pulls straight out. So, if you're looking with the typical, you know, where it, you have that sweet spot and it pops up. Nope, this one just goes straight in, straight out. And then we do have, again, some metal integrated in there around the chamber. And obviously, you know, the barrel is metal. Everything else here is polymer. Now, I'm not sure how far in the metal goes being infused. Um, let's take a look at the lower here. 
Now, same thing, we've got metal infused and part of the connection here for the buffer tube. Now, the buffer tube, that is polymer, but we have our castle nut, and I'm guessing this part you can see that's metal as well. So where, you know, where and how it's fused, I'm not sure. Everything else in here, for the most part, is polymer, including <laughs> the hammer. Now, I'm curious how that's going to work, having a polymer hammer, how that will last. Um, at least right now, I don't have a 1,000 rounds to do a 1,000 round torture test. We'll see if maybe I can get a hold of that. Um, I can't tell if this is metal. I think this is metal. Uh, the mag catch, or sorry, the bolt catch. The trigger itself, that's polymer, and it looks like everything else, obviously, minus the spring. I will say, guys, um, it's, got a, it's got a nice trigger. And then pretty standard reset. A little bit of creep, a little bit of mush. But, you know, actually, I have felt a whole lot worse in the trigger You know, the big question is going to be, how does that hold up? It does have a flared magwell. You know, comfort-wise, I love the trigger guard. Um, yeah, um, mag catch. As far as I can tell, that's polymer. Now, real quick here, also, as far as I know, I'll have to look or do a little research, but it would look like we could replace the trigger. So if for some reason, you know, we have issues with this or you don't like the polymer, um, Right now, it's looking like we could just drop in a different all-metal trigger. Let's just see what we get here for trigger pull weight. What do we got there? Four. Not bad. Four. That's... I like that, guys. Um, I also got some metal in here for the pins. Real fast, the buffer tube, it is permanently fixed to this. It will not come off. I'm not sure why the castle nut's on there, what that does, maybe just as far as this goes, but the buffer tube will not come off. There you go. Okay. It's like a little kid on Christmas. Um, but anyway, so I just purchased this off of my crazy stupid deals from Battlehawk Armory. And uh, yeah, let's get an optic on here. Let's get the barrel seasoned and see what we can get for groups. Okay, so this is the moment of truth. I've got uh, a Gideon. I can't remember which it is. Uh, I'll share that, but I'm doing a review on their optics. So I've got that on there. Let's just start getting that zeroed and give this a test. You know what? Well, hey, that's all right. Good start. Now I want to season this barrel. Okay. I had done one test fire just to make sure everything was good, but uh, now I'm going to go down and I'm going to clean. That's our three shots. And then the next one we'll do five shots. I clean and polish. I've got a video on that. And that was something that I checked with all the major barrel manufacturers, uh, Bartline, Krieger, she and all of them anyway. Now I did notice. Yeah, let me show you. Okay, if it, it got turned a little bit, it's not, it's not clicked. But see there, between straight up, but it's not clicked. And it won't fire. And then push it straight up. Don't like that feature. Okay, real quick, let's just show you the field of view that I've got here at 50. So this particular Gideon is the second focal plane, not a first focal plane. So our BDC is going to stay the same size regardless of what power we're on. Let's just take a look at those groups. Okay, so we're just sighting it in, getting 
using the 55 grain full metal jacket range ammo you know that's that's really not bad groups as i'm as i'm moving it up and then i you know i thought i kind of was getting it where i wanted it so then we dropped down here and did a group you know that's not bad for that 55 grain sometimes depending on the barrel this is what I'll get. Other times I'll get really tight, but uh, that's okay because we're seasoning the barrel. We're going to jump to 100 and, and then have some fun and then start trying some different ammo. Okay, so this scope has a bullet drop compensator that is for 100 yard zero with basically, you know, 55 grain sort of mil spec ammo. Let's uh, get her zeroed. Hey, that one was almost in the bullseye. So I am curious what kind of groups we get with a heavier bullet. The 55 grain full metal jacket, eh, you know, but that's not the first time that that's happened. Sometimes barrels just don't like the light. So let's just jump to the heavy and see what we get. Well, it's not a bad group. Um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely not MOA, but we are still in that break-in process what i want to do now is i just want to try some tula okay let's see what we get <laughs> that group is gonna surprise you what i got for a field of view here at 100 that's what we're seeing at 100. You know, I do like this reticle. The the triangle is about as sharp. I mean, it is it is like needle sharp, which is great for accuracy. Uh, we will test that BDC out here. Uh, I don't know if we'll get to it today. Let's go take a look. Let's take a look at those groups. So that's our 55 grain full metal jacket. That was our open OTM, the open tip match, you know? And actually you get rid of the flyer and that's about an MOA group. And that's the Tula, <laughs> you know? That's for what it is, that's really not bad. Now, if you're not familiar with breaking in a barrel, this is what happens. The groups are gonna, I think they're gonna continue to shrink. Um, you know, I think I've got that where I want, just so we can bang on some steel and have a little fun. Get a bunch of rounds down through the barrel, and then we're gonna come back, and we're gonna try a bunch of different ammo, and see what it likes, and see what kind of groups and consistency we can get. Hit. 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 Hit, just in case you can't hear him. Hit. 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 Nice. Okay, guys, I loaded nine on that. That was nine out of nine. Using an LVPO. Hey, I'm happy with that. I know I'm going in reverse order, but a lot of that is because of the wind. I can do the shorter distances easier with a little wind versus the 500. Let's go for, let's drop down to the 400. Hey guys, if you are not familiar with my crazy, stupid deals, you go to my webpage. It's an email that you sign up for. You can subscribe and unsubscribe at any time. It costs you absolutely nothing. When I find these crazy, stupid deals, guns, ammo, shooting accessories, optics, I put them all together in an email and I send that out. People absolutely love it. Saves them a ton of money or costs them, depending on how you want to look at it, finding the crazy, stupid deals. I also do the same thing on my X page. As I'm finding the deals throughout the day, I'm putting them on X page, especially things that I think are going to go out of stock really fast. Like I said, I ended up 
<laughs> succumbing to one of my own crazy, stupid deals, but people like it. Anyway, back to the review. Nice. Nice. That one was... I, okay, I wasn't... <laughs> there's deer standing over there. Um, I'll try to zoom in. Yeah, that's uh, beyond seclusion for you. They just kind of hang out. They're used to, you know, they kind of want to come see, hey, what's uh, what's Drew shooting at today? All right, we'll drop to three, but that's, that's just going to be ridiculously easy. Now, let's see. One, two, three deer now. Uh, they're going into the trees over there. All right, let's just jump over here to three. Nice. And the deer are still standing there. Go figure. Anyway, um, I want to stand here and see. We'll start at 300. Now, real I don't know if it's just, you know, coffee, age, whatever, but <laughs> that reticle is moving all over the place. Um, hey, real quick note, guys, I have been using the Shellshock Ear Pro and iPro now for a while. You know, you really need to give Ear Pro a good test. So far, man, they've been doing awesome. And one of the things that I really look for in Ear Pro is that cut off, but the cut back on rate so that I can hear hitting the steel with the cheaper ear pro and stuff. Um, if it doesn't come back on fast enough, I don't hear the dings and I just, I can't use it. But anyway, uh, they're really comfortable. Anyway, I'm gonna continue to test them, but you know, so far, big thumbs okay, up. Guys, so here's the lineup for what we're gonna test and we're gonna give this a good test. We're gonna start off with the AAC. I'm gonna start off kind of with a heavier and we'll work our way down. Um, yeah, we should get a good idea you know, which of the AAC that it really likes. But then we're also going to include uh, other companies. You know, Hornady, I have great luck with them. Federal, this is some awesome stuff too. But anyway, and then we will test all of these out and we will see what we can get for groups, you know, whether it likes the heavier or the lighter and just overall, what can we expect? So we're going to start off with a 77 grain, the open tip match. I know we tested that, but we were still seasoning the barrel and that really does make a huge difference. I am not going to video all of these five shot groups. So anyway, I'll start off with this and then I'll just show you when we're all done the groups. <laughs> all considering and this is on a freshly clean barrel um that's actually a pretty tight group it is shooting just a little high i was almost off the paper but i got them all on the paper i am going to adjust this down a little bit all right guys you've got to check these groups out I got to say, you know, they, they really just shocked me. Um, considering what we've got, anyway, I can't remember what's what. I know um, I know that was one of the heavier, you know, so, I mean, yeah, that's, that's awesome. Um, this was, I think, of 62 grain, and for whatever reason, it was way right, but again, guys, those, I mean, that's impressive that one is really impressive i had three shots there i mean that's sub moa get rid of the flyer which was cold barrel because in the five minutes that barrel is getting um outdoor temp about 60 i mean it's it's cool and man that's awesome um it is what it is but that really rocks that just shocked the crap out of me um this group here, you know, there's three shots. That's a flyer from this one. That's the the 55 grain A Max, which is pretty consistent with 
uh, the 55 grain black tip. This gun, just from what I'm seeing, it doesn't like 55 grain. It, it definitely likes the heavier loads. All right, let's throw up some new paper and um, try the try the other brands. Okay, so I actually changed that last group a little bit. It was clear that it was really not liking the really light load, so I didn't want to waste the Remington, and I wanted to see what we got with the Tula. <laughs> you got to check these groups out. That's impressive, especially... <laughs> Look at that. That's awesome. Now, I remember this one. That's the Federal. There's five shots that almost fit in my thumbnail. That's crazy. There's the Tula. That's, you know, that's not too bad. It's stringing. You know, we got five shots and three holes there. That's nice. So we got three shots in there. Nice, guys. And I can't remember what's what here. I'll, I'll pull it up. Yeah, that's not bad either. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm I'm really impressed. This actually shocks me. That really shocks me. Um, being able to do that with a polymer trigger. Anyway, well, there you go, guys. All right, let's just see what we can do at 500, 400. We'll see. Let's just play, have a little fun with some Tula at some distance. Hey, that hit. Let's go 400. Oh, I missed. <laughs> yeah you know you gotta you gotta end on a really positive note uh, not that we really needed a positive note well there you go guys um it is what it is i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it helpful it certainly was entertaining to myself Anyway, until next time, happy shooting. Remember, educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. And every time that we're on the range, everybody's watching us. That makes us ambassadors for the Second Amendment. Um, so be a good ambassador. Be a safe and responsible gun owner.